It's like the man is saying that he doesn't have the mental capacity to deal with me returning to work as if we were in something prior to me leaving work or prior to me even getting pregnant. Crazy. There's this one nurse that I don't like working with and I don't like working with him for a myriad of reasons. One of the reasons being there was a point in time where, you know, I was out on maternity leave. First of all, when they had like a baby shower for me at work or whatever, he was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know that she was pregnant. And um, it was affecting me so much. I had to take some time off. He took about a month off or whatever, but he didn't take a month off because of me. He took a month off because he was in some shit at work. But outside of that, um, he also, when he came back, I heard him saying that he had to do like a little procedure or, or something. So he took some time off for that. So for him to spin it and say that he took time off because he found out that I was pregnant it was affecting him was crazy. Crazy people. You have to stay away from them. Anyway, child. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm staying away from this boy. Because we had hiccups before where, you know, as it relates to patient care, I'm looking for him. And he's like, oh, my job is to help the doctors, not the techs. Excuse me? I'm not a nurse, but I know what my job responsibilities are. And I happen to know a few of yours. The patient is both our responsibility. Just like you're a part of the patient's care team. I'm a part of the patient's care team. Okay. Don't play yourself. So we went back and forth. We had it out for a little bit. And then, you know, we moved on, whatever. I ended up telling somebody who was a mutual friend of him and I. And she went to him and like she talked to him or whatever. And he came back the next time and he apologized. I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. He apologized. It's okay. We all have our moments. Okay, maybe he was having a moment or whatever. Okay, good. We move on from that. And then he's going around telling like our coworkers that he doesn't know why I have an attitude with him. And he doesn't know why I don't talk to him. And I'm just like, but you know why I don't talk to you. Because now I know how you are. And even though we're not at odds, because when it comes to or mutual patients, I'm gonna be cordial. But outside of that, I don't really have anything to say to you because you're you're wild, you know? But for work, we're gonna keep it cute and we're gonna communicate when it's directly related to patients that we have together, right? So I'm like, okay, whatever. I leave him alone for months. She's going around telling people things. And then one of my really close friends, like I call him my work husband, comes to me and he was like, oh, the guy's saying that he doesn't know why you don't talk to him. And I tell him the story and then the guy ends up looking crazy. The nurse ends up looking crazy because you were the one who was wrong. So like whatever okay we move on from that now i'm really not talking to him unless we have patients together don't look at me don't talk to me if i say good night i'm not saying it to you leave me alone okay and then um you know so we're here and then i'm pregnant <laughs> he says that dumb stuff and then um i go on maternity leave and when i'm about to come off of maternity leave he's one of my friends two of my friends texted me and they were like we have to tell you something and i'm like oh my god what is that and they're just like, yeah, he's telling people that he needs to take some time off around the time that you need to come back because mentally he's not prepared. <laughs> it's like the man is saying that he doesn't have the mental capacity to deal with me returning to work as if we were in something prior to me leaving work or prior to me even getting pregnant. Crazy. So I'm like, oh my God, what is going on? He's telling them all oh, how much he loved me. Crazy. Okay. Anyway, child. I go back to work. He was there and, you know, I go into the jail locker room and I'm like, good night to everybody in general because I'm not singling you out. And he was like, it, well, he didn't answer. And like later on, like when some of the people left the break room, he was like, Mr. I, you didn't say good night. I said I said good night to everybody. Because, sir, you're not getting no special treatment because I'm not going to give you nothing to go tell people that or to, to take the wrong way or, or whatever. I can't, I can't even, I can't even stand you at this point, you know? Anyway. Giving you guys a back story to see. Last night I'm working with him. Okay, we're working in the same district. Fine, I hate working with him. But I have to. So on the night where I do, sometimes I will swap my district with one of my friends. And if they don't, you know, if I do, then I do. It's whatever. I work with them and I'm cool throughout the shift. And then when the shift is done, we're done. Okay, it's a cool eight hours and, and we're done. So last night I'm working with him and... um. I said I was going to start at the back and leave his patients for last. And then I'm like, you know what, whatever. I'm not doing that. I'm going to start with his patients first because I had to bang them out and be done with it. I start with his patient. I'm in the room and he comes. He was like, oh, Janine, there's a stat EKG. Could you do it for me? Okay, fine. I'm irritated because bring the machine. He didn't bring it. There was no order. How is it stat and there's no order? 
how do you need it right now and there's literally no order but i'm like okay whatever i'm doing my labs and i'm doing my vitals and then by the end i'm hoping that he brings a machine and we can like just get through this and be done with this okay at the end he didn't bring the machine or whatever there's still no order this is about 10 good minutes there's still no order and i'm just like oh my gosh i can't even because that patient specifically i stuck her two times and i just wasn't getting any return so i'm like whatever i'm gonna move on to the next hand so i was in there for about 10 minutes Typically, it's quicker than that. There is no order. So I'm like, listen, give me a patient label and I'm going to do the EKG and I'm going to stick it on there and you can figure it out because there's no order and I can't wait here. I've just started and I need to move on to the rest of the patients. And he was like, yeah, that's fine. I was trying to tell you earlier to just do that. I do it. I move on. And I'm done. Like, I'm on the floor from like 1.30 a.m. to 3 a.m. because my break was 3 a.m. I'm on the floor. I do one set of labs for somebody. Um... I run around and I answer some call lights for somebody else, you know, because I'm on the floor. You do all that stuff when you're on the floor, right? He says to me, oh, um, by the way, Janine, in the morning, I'm going to need you to do a finger stick for one of my patients. Okay, fine. No problem. Okay. I go on my break at 3. He comes back off of his break at 3. Uh, uh, uh. From 3 a.m. to 4.30. 4.35 a.m. He's just been sitting down waiting for me to return from my break to give me the paper for some blood work that he got. So he's been sitting on it for an hour and a half to two hours. You would have already done that set of labs four times and sent it to the lab already. So many times and sent it to the lab already instead of sitting there waiting for me. So in the morning I get back now and somebody else came and they were like, oh, I have some last minute labs or whatever. That irritated me because that patient specifically, I had already stuck them for lactic acid and I asked her, is this all they're going to need? Because I do not like sticking the patients more than once. If we're going to do the labs, let's just wait for everything and do it one time. But sometimes some things are stuck and you just have to do them right then. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Okay. So I'm irritated with her, but that's my girl through and through. So I'm like, whatever, I'm going to do it, but I'm going to complain anyway. So um, I'm so irritated because I'm like, these doctors can't ever get it together and just put the orders in one time and let you do the work one time and just be done with it, you know? So I'm like, okay, whatever, you know? I see him coming now with the work order for, for the blood work. And he was like, Jadine, and I'm like, um, absolutely not. Because also, here's his thing. He procrastinates a lot, walks around all night long, sit in the physician's lounge for nothing at all, just walks around and like, you know is being um what do you call that what is that word that i'm looking for just a little incompetent when he could have been a little bit more on top of things and he would have probably already seen that order and i would have probably already done that when i was on the floor so now i'm pissed because now i have two blood work to do this is 5 a.m we don't have any time to be doing blood work when we're, we're doing patient care and vitals okay and sometimes i will run you until all the way at 6 30 and you only have 30 minutes to chart which is enough time just about enough time depending on how many patients you have so now I'm irritated and he gives me the paper and I'm like, man, whatever. I take it from him and I put it on the, on the table and then he's like, oh, and by the way, and by the way, nothing. I didn't say that to him though. He's like, oh, and by the way, can you just do the finger stick when you do the blood work? Because I could just get a drop of blood from where the site that I've already stuck the patient to just do the finger stick. But I'm just like, my guy, this finger stick has been pending. If it's every four hours that you told me that at 11.30. It's well over four hours at this point. It should have already been done. Long and short, he irritated me this morning. And in the end, I ended up doing the finger stick at about 6.55 because I was so busy charting. And I even got up from charting to go do it because I'm like, I don't want to wait until 7 o'clock because I don't want to have to do the control test on the machine. It's just an annoying thing. So I'm going to go do it and come back to like finish up the charting. I go do it. It's 39. That's critical. Um... I do it again because you have to recheck it. It's 40. I find him, I tell him he's irritated. He's throwing stuff and pulling stuff and I'm just looking at him like, well, man, if you had done this from 5 a.m., from 4 a.m., from 3 a.m. even, instead of sitting there and waiting for me, you would have had enough time before shift change to fix this issue. So I know this morning he was dumb tight and I left him there working on that shit because... You, you don't try to help out when you can. You don't help with patient care. You don't. Just irritated. So last night was not a great night at work, okay? No night when I have to work with him is not really a great night. But, like, last night was one of the worst so far. He's just mad and incompetent. When the, when the Nightingale scandal was going around, I really thought maybe he bought his license. That's how bad he kind of is. They said he's going to the day shift, and I really would love if he could just go to the day shift. 
anybody else I could deal with, but I really do hate working with them. It's a few other ones that I dislike working with, but I'm like, whatever, I'm going to do the job and I'm going to leave here at 7 a.m. But him specifically, I, I don't like working with him. So, you know, now we're, we're, we're here. It was not a great shift, but I, I still have tonight and tomorrow night to complete, um, like a few more, the rest of the week, basically, because I'm, I'm off this weekend. So like, you know, whatever, now we're here. But the bright side to all of this is I've completed my final, my, my, my first semester of college, submitted my final paper and that chapter is closed and we have like a week or two, maybe three weeks before the next semester starts and I'm excited. I'm gonna be doing classes in the summer, one, Actually, maybe I start this one in the summer. The next one, I don't know when I start. So I have to email my academic advisor to see, one, which class I, I selected again. And two, when does that start? So I'm about to do that right now. Hi, honey. So many emails between us. I know that I am doing math for sure, but yeah, that's all we have going on. So I'm going to wrap up today's video here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.